Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel SS Analysis. First of all, I would like to tell you that if you are watching this video first time, subscribe my channel to see my more upcoming videos on analysis of different commodities and equity indices. And second important thing is to watch this video till its end to understand this solely to take your decision. Your one like will motivate me to be regular in walking more hard for you. As you know that the futures of all the major US indices like S&P 500, Dow Jones and Nasdaq reversed higher on Tuesday, raising earlier losses. Investors were weighing conflicting macroeconomic fundamentals, promises of a more government liquidity and a restarting global economy versus grim economic data and conflicting social unrest in the US, as well as simmering trade tension between Washington and Beijing. Optimism clearly prevailed and uh, finally the European shares closed higher. Oil is up while US dollar continued to slip. This optimism is despite President Donald Trump threatened to deploy the military in US cities in response to the violent unrest that has followed last week's death of George Floyd by the hands of uh, police. On the top of this, relations between the China and the US strained over the autonomy of Hong Kong after Beijing passed new national security laws related to the city, whereas Reports on Monday of an order from China's government to halt U.S. soybean purchases raise the possibilities of damaging trade disagreements between Washington and Beijing just a few months after the first phase of a trade deal ending a damaging trade war. Secondly, the U.S. PMI pointed to improvement in May from April even though the reading was grim, the market is also still supported by trillions of dollars of fiscal and uh, monetary stimulus and the reopening of states as the coronavirus outbreak passes its peak. Right now, central banks are mostly in wait and watch mode as reopening around the world gives them hope that existing monetary policy is working. However, they are not sure that governments are of having bitten of the threat of COVID-19. So therefore, I find that this strength shown by S&P 500 futures in a daily time frame looks to be halted here, where I find that a long-term resistance level is here. Here you can see that since October 2019, the S&P 500 futures faced stiff resistance whenever they tested these levels from the lower levels. Here you can see that the S&P 500 futures continuously faced resistance during the month of November 2019 and after sustaining above this stiff resistance level only then they faced a lot of selling above this level and finally started to move upward in December 2019 after taking support from these levels. So once again, here you can see that when the S&P 500 futures move downward below this important level of 3089 in February 2020, here you can see that in this move, the S&P 500 futures beat the 200 days moving average support in February 2020 and finally came down and touched the lows of 2842 in February 2020. And once again tried to cause this immediate resistance but could not sustain above this uh, important level and finally started to move downward in March 2020. Here you can see that the S&P 500 futures showed a steep fall during the month of March and finally tested the lows of 2166 from where we have seen a steep reversal during the month of March itself. But once again, we found a lot of resistance at the levels of 2633 where the S&P 500 futures found their first immediate resistance and after sustaining for a few trading sessions above this immediate resistance, S&P 500 futures started to move upward when they found their second resistance at the levels of 2978 when the S&P 500 futures moved downward once again during the month of April. Here you can see that the S&P 500 futures once again tested the lows of uh, 2775 where they found good support at the upper end of Ichimoku cloud. 
Here you can see that the S&P 500 futures tried to test the highs of 2941 on May 11, 2020. But once again, we can see here the S&P 500 futures found a selling pressure and tested the lows of 2782. Here you can see that once again the S&P 500 futures found strong support at the upper end of Ichimoku cloud at the levels of 2785. During this two trading session, here you can see that the S&P 500 futures touch the lows of 2762 but here you can see that the S&P 500 futures found good buying support from these levels and finally started this upward journey and here you can see that the S&P 500 futures had finally tried to breach the strong resistance level of 200 days moving average which is currently at the levels of 3012 here you can see that on May 26, the S&P 500 futures tried to breach this immediate resistance and finally the S&P 500 futures successfully moved above this 200 days moving average resistance and sustained here at the levels of 3033 which is a strong resistance level in case of an upward move in S&P 500 futures but once the S&P 500 futures sustain above this level of 3033 this level turns into a strong support level here you can see that the S&P 500 futures maintained above the levels of 3033 during the last three trading session and finally moved upward but here i find that the S&P 500 futures are facing stiff resistance at the levels of 3089 where you can see that this long term stiff resistance level is here. Here I find that the S&P 500 futures have to struggle a lot amid going uncertainty at the international level whereas the major supply disruption in global supply chain is still intact. Therefore I find that if the S&P 500 futures remain successful in sustaining above the levels of 3089 during this week then only we can expect the S&P 500 futures to test the next immediate resistance which is currently at the levels of 3206. Here I find that if the S&P 500 futures are not able to break this immediate resistance of 3089, we will see the S&P 500 futures will see a steep fall from these levels where they will find their immediate uh, support at 200 days moving average where I find that a breakout below this level below the levels of 2962 will result in a sharp downward move up to the levels of 2868 where the 50 days moving average may provide some support to S&P 500 futures but here I find that the final support will be provided at the upper end of Ichimoku cloud which is currently at the levels of 2777 whereas I find that the S&P 500 futures may take a bouncing move once again from these levels but I would like to mention here that the S&P 500 futures may take a decisive move before June 9, 2020 the S&P 500 futures may remain very volatile. So here I find that the S&P 500 futures may test the lows of 2587 during the month of June. So friends this is my expected trading zone from June 3rd to July 3rd. I find the S&P 500 futures may remain amid this zone which starts from 2626 to 3166 during this period and finally this level of 3206 will provide stiff resistance in case of any upward move I find that the S&P 500 futures will find a stiff resistance at the levels of 3205 whereas I find that any upward move above this uh, level will result in sharp sell off Friends, I find that we are going to see a steep fall if the S&P 500 futures are not able to break this level of 3089 now let us check this move in an hourly time frame, here you can see that in an hourly time frame, the S&P 500 futures are showing stiff resistance at the levels of 3089 and form two red candles 
which confirms the continuity of a steep fall during this uh, move and where is a point that if the S&P 500 futures beats the support of 50 days exponential moving average in an hour week time frame which is currently at the levels of 3058 we will see the S&P 500 futures to test the next support at the upper end of Ichimoku cloud at the levels of 3043 and the next support will be at the levels of 3027 here i find that the 200 days moving average in an hourly time frame which is currently at the levels of 3011 may provide strong support to s and 500 futures in case of a downward move here i find if the s and 500 futures are not able to defend the levels of 2973 before this weekly closing we will see the s and 500 futures to move amid this zone between the levels of 2892 to 2973 we may see the S&P 500 futures to consolidate amid this zone during this week so friends I find that with every step of S&P 500 futures you will see the S&P 500 futures may heighten the risk of volatility and here I find a lot of bearish pressure above this level in the S&P 500 futures where we will see the S&P 500 futures may see a strong sell off if the S&P 500 futures try to sustain above the levels of 3089 because here I find there is a thick presence of bears amid this zone from the levels of 3110 to 3010 so friends be ready to see an action in the S&P 500 futures so friends thanks for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to share this video with your more and more friends thank you